Ever since I've started, I've felt that the most important thing that we would have would be integrity. We would work closely with people and be very honest and upfront with how we go about creating the vision. How are we going to combine that glass with that steel, with that wood, with that fabric, without losing the ultimate vision and the goal and make it sing? The challenge of being bespoke is we can't afford to do things again. We can't ever afford to sit back and just be, oh, it's okay. You know, it's always got to be absolutely right first time on every single thing. Innovation is such a huge part of what we do. How do we do things better? How do we change something? Or even use this tool in a different way and suddenly we've got a better solution. Retaining a sort of small size of company and that nimble nature means you can't afford to be flippant with different techniques. The trick for us is to find the techniques that we can use across all the different demands. The relationship between the designer and us is absolutely paramount. You can't step on people's toes too much, and yet you can't sit back and do things you know aren't right. That middle ground is vital. So the best product is when we work together. I see our role as to take what the designers give us and then make it even better. It's just born out of having a real passion and a real love for what you do. Making a better product, working with people you enjoy working with and delivering exactly what everyone's expecting of you every single time. I install everything that we make personally. If the person who's doing most of the designing doesn't have full hands-on experience of what looks good, what doesn't look good, what goes right, what goes wrong, it's very difficult to pass that information on. The importance of learning from every one-off you make is, is huge. I love it, you know, it's tiring, but I think I would be bored if I was doing mundane, repetitive stuff. I just love challenges.